Greetings, book friends. It's been far too long. Um, book friends and Kent, my only um, uh, real life friend. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if he's watching this video, but Kent's a golfing buddy of mine, great golfer. But he's one of the very few people that um, follow my bookstagram account. Yeah, I'm on a bit of an island here. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, it's awesome to be back. Yeah, I, it's been about eight months since I've made my last video. And I just kind of felt that familiar pull or, uh, you know, pang and just wanted to create some content uh, because I consume and consume and consume, you know how it is. So it just feels good to um, um, make something. And I thought what I would do today is talk a little bit about my top thrift store finds. And I think you'd be pretty impressed with these. Uh, just thought of this as I was reading my uh, my current read which I found at thrift store which will be the last uh, the last selection but um, yeah so that's the deal and uh, before I start I wanted to give a quick shout out to a few people in the community who are doing amazing things uh, always um, everyone in this community you know how much I love it but um, a few people specifically now um, I wrote it down here Ben Philip Jeff Carl Nick um, all these people and everyone else for that matter who have been um, who are in the third publication of Daniel's wonderful project the whole on project so congratulations you guys on on that I can't wait to get my hands on that um, also I want to give a quick shout out to a few people I'm not going to mention any names um, that are writing their first novels um, which is super exciting I wish you the best you know who you are so keep up keep up the hard work uh, and lastly, again, quick shout out to uh, Rick over at Corona Psalms. Dot. I need to place another order with you, bud. Uh, it's been too long. Uh, so, everyone else, if you have not yet placed an order with Rick Harsh at Corona Psalms. Press, you need to do so right away. It's some of the best stuff out there. Okay, let's get on with this video. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thanks for watching, by the way. Um, thrift stores. This is where I do the majority of my book shopping. I go about once a week once every couple of weeks I'll say and um really you might be like me but I go often times about half the time I will walk out of there empty-handed but that's okay I've got some peace of mind because I know I haven't missed out on a, a hidden gem uh and you can see why here in a minute when I show you so let's get on with it so let me know in the comments if you know if, if you're a thrift store person if you have many thrift stores so these these books would be anywhere from one to three dollars that's the other thing it's great value um so i really really enjoy it. and we we have a few here in town and they have lots they get books in every day they inform me okay here we go number one um this author a little bit of context on these before i show you make it all dramatic um is someone i've struggled with in the past obviously very highly regarded it's really hard to find his stuff here uh in fact in our you know our library system there's only two or three books and I can't even order it through our national bookstore chapters here in Canada. Um, there's a lot that they don't have. So this is William T. Volman. Okay, so I saw this at the thrift store and it was $1. It was on my way out and I was thrilled to see this hardcover of second installment, I think, third, in his Seven Dreams series. And I love this. I read this in January when I had COVID actually, watching those great football games too. Uh, and I, I had this as a companion, isolating from my family. And it was a terrific reading experience. Great book. I will get back to Volman if if only because I've, I've finished this. So I did try the Atlas recently. Couldn't get into it for whatever reason. It's it's me. It's, it's not him. So I hope to get back to him. I mean, maybe I'm more drawn to the later stuff. Um, yeah, so this is a great book. What a, what a find. So that's number one. Yeah. Okay, and this one, um, oh, another shout out. I almost forgot. I want to say hi to Ben over at Beyond the Zero podcast. And uh, congratulations on another terrific year, Ben, with some amazing guests, your uh, Beyond the Zero podcast. Now, this book, I realized and I noticed a lot of people, a lot of guests on Ben's show had this in their top 10. And I was pretty surprised. Um, I, I rarely see this person... Um, in my the, the bookstores but this is calvino's if on a winter's night a traveler right let me know if you've read this i have not i will i know 
George Solis, uh, among others, uh, really, really think highly of this this book by Calvino. And it sounds great. So I'll get to this someday. So I was really, really happy to find this at a thrift store. Okay. Um, another shout out to um, just Chris Robinson. I hope you continue to do your Friday night live reads, bud. I tuned into a lot of those. And um, when you were reading this fella, uh, look at this beautiful edition of the first in the In Search of Lost Time series. So I figured I'd pick this up uh, and, and buy the rest if I love this. What a beautiful looking book, hey? So yeah, this was like, I don't know, three bucks. Awesome. Can't wait to get to that sometime. Let me know if you've read In Search of Lost Time. This one. Now, you see a lot of this fella's other stuff, um, but not this one. I think this is only one of two novels that Herman Melville has written. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. The Confidence Man, they say, is America's first postmodern novel. So I read Moby Dick for the first time last year and, you know, transformative experience. So I was thrilled to find this. Like I said, I see a lot of, you know, various editions of Moby Dick and all of his other shorter work, but not this. So I was psyched to get this. I'm going to read this with a group hopefully next year. So let me know if you want in on that or any of these other ones. Okay. The following book I read last year when I found it at the bookstore um, kind of a mood read, and boy, I'm glad I did. This is a five-star read, and one of the best books I have ever read. You all need to track down a copy of this, you guys. Ridley Walker by Russell Hoban. So the context, I was listening to Sherd's Tube, um, who's got a great YouTube channel, um, great content, and he had an episode on his podcast dedicated to this book. And I started listening to it, and I remembered the name, and then at this thrift store, I saw it there, and I was like, yeah, that, that's the one, and so I picked it up, how can you not, with all of these comments on the front of the book, right, and what, what Hoban's done is incredible, you guys, he's invented this entire colloquial dialect, um, it's an amazing, riveting story, disturbing story set well into the future, and gosh, it's, it's, I can't say enough good things, you guys, um, if I decide to do some more content like this, some some lengthier stuff. I think what I thought I might do is um, some lives, just like Chris Robinson there, and, and read out loud Ridley Walker, which would be cool. It's fun to read out loud. So maybe we'll do that. And lastly, the book I found, which was thrilled to find this, my current read with an amazing group online, um, is, I've been trying to track this down for years, and I finally found it, I don't know, eight months ago or so. Um, yeah, Malcolm Lowers Under the Volcano. Uh, three chapters in, and it's awesome. Okay, that's it. Uh, drop me a line. Listen, I hope you guys are all doing awesome, and um, I'll be in touch. Take care of yourselves. Thanks.